Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. All I see is Emmett and Victor. I'm just going, I'm not even going to lie. I just see Emmett and Victor. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, we good. good. We, we accept that. Yeah, we, we accept that. that. I, I'm, I'm a little happier though, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, like, you guys had me stressed. I just be nervous. Like, the F, the eight episodes ended, and I was like, what is going to go down? What is going to happen? Yeah. Uh, Jacob, I guess I'll start with you first. Have you gotten the martial arts training in, the weapons training? Are you ready for Duda? Like, tell me, like, say what, what's going on? <laughs> tell me what is going on. Hey, we we we, we definitely gonna see Emmett um uh, <laughs> try to figure this thing on now. Uh, this is a, a, a totally new set of challenges for Emmett, and um we tried him. We we he tried to be the tough guys. He's definitely not cut out like that. And uh, we we're, we're gonna see some a different side of Emmett where he's gonna be leveraging his power. Um, um, leveraging his love that he that he has from his community and um and, and the people around him, and uh, I think that's that's gonna be a, a huge key in him protecting his family. You gotta leave with love, though. I love that about this show. Like I love how every, there's love always thrown in. It's a lot of battle and a lot of fighting, but the love is thrown yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, Luke, I gotta ask you about Victor. If I can throw a little nerdness on this, right? Mm -hmm. He kind of giving me that like Batman, maybe like Black Lightning kind of feel where it's like he's that hero, right? But you have mm -hmm. that question of, as he's saving the day and he keeps saving the day, is the villain Duda or what is he fighting inside? Like, why does he feel like he has to be that guy? <laughs> yeah, you know, Victor, Victor is dealing with a, a bit of a complex of, well, you know, that's part of his trauma, you know, having to be the man of the house, having to survive and be on his own you know his experience with his family with his father and mother um you know and, and jake and reg you know he's the oldest oldest brother and he experienced the 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 fallout of when cabrini bridge was the the projects were, were demolished and everyone was left to their own demise and depression came and struck his family and he had to survive because then with depression comes the alcoholism and drug addiction and that family yeah, yeah. spread it apart and he had to fly to coop and survive yeah. um he has he has that complex and that's why we're here at the space of mental health because ultimately he's he's in need of it mm -hmm. he he found he found um something of um something of a uh a, 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 something to back for his campaign but ultimately that comes from an inner space a, a, a inner part of him knowing that he needs a space, a safe space to talk about what he's going through on a day to day, you know? And I think he wears a lot of it on him. The The world is heavy and he sees the world as it is. He's a realist, mm -hmm. you know? And um, it is a lot. I mean, there is, a, the world is a lot, it is on his shoulders. There's a lot yeah. that in a, in a sense, it feels like it, only he can do because he knows how to do it without mm -hmm. losing himself but that's the problem he he is trying not to lose himself what about for both of these guys um i guess i go back to you jacob just to kind of start it out what about just leaning on people around them because i know emmett is you know right now he's a dad he's figured it out right he's figured out the relationship side of him he's working it right but at the same time you can see this fear on him. Like, what if I can't absolutely protect my family? And, you know, to be able to show like how vulnerable he is. And then, you know, on Victor's side, you know, he wants to become a dad. You know, he has Jake. When do they let these people in, you know, around them? Like, it, it's hard in their environment. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, we, we literally seeing these characters figure, figure it out. I mean, there's no blueprint that was set out for them to, to figure this out. So uh, we're, they're on this journey and, and the, which, which makes it, great to play as as an actor and mm -hmm. even for the audience to enjoy yeah. um the this sort of roller coaster of events yeah yeah and i also wanted to know how did you guys come up with the scenario because i love seeing how layered that we're showing black men in this light um the scenario of having that that group that kind of guys chat you know like what stays yeah. in the guys yeah. chat is cool like nobody can yeah. come after each other in the guys chat yeah yeah uh -huh. well you know that's that's real life that's um I've had that those experiences that 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 round that circle of men um in in creating a safe space for all of us to to be ourselves and to let go of things 
uh, that may be um, holding us right now in the day and the time and the moment. Um, and I think, you know, our writer, our, our creators, you know, our show is a bit of, is a love letter and mm -hmm. it is a grounded show in the reality of the human experience, the black human experience. Um, mm -hmm. And I think in ways when, when you're be, we're able to be a part of a, a piece that, that talks about all of the nuances of our community and the things that, you know, we consider taboo in a way, you know, and kind of pulling layers back to maybe for our viewers to not only be entertained with their families being able to watch their favorite show on Paramount Plus, mm -hmm. but when that there thing, you go. But when that thing goes <laughs> off, yeah. you're left you're left with a notion of 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 a thought of why why mental health awareness is so important, why it is important to find some sort of type of therapy, some yeah. sort of safe space, why it's important to hold space for all of us. Yeah. 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 And you know, um, I could keep talking to you guys all day because I just yeah. love seeing the melanin shine in front of the camera, behind the yeah. camera on the show. That's why I'm such a good fan. But yeah. I'm gonna end on this to kind of tease all the the fans going here. Now we know Duda got nine lives. We know a little something about Duda, but yeah, Alicia, yeah. that is a different story. Can you guys yeah. give us like a couple tease words? Like, what should we expect from Alicia? Like, what did we not know yet? Because we don't. It's like very little. They give it us very little. Alicia's not nothing to play with. Yeah. I think you got the right notion. Yeah. She's not no. She's not anybody to play with. Mm -hmm. And so what we what we're gonna experience is the struggle for power and the struggle for um hmm territory territory safety um and freedom. And 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 that's that's what we're going to. I mean, I can't say too much. I just know leave that. It yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are so good. I always have me on the edge of my seat, and I always be yeah. so nervous when that premiere hit. I'm like, no, what is gonna happen? But I'm yeah, excited. First you episode guys. Episode is gonna be. Uh, well, man, you know how we left out. off, so you know how we about to come through. <laughs> oh, I know, I yeah. know. Oh my gosh, and the posters are fire. So yeah. I'm just so excited, you guys. Thank you so much for the time, and I'm just gonna put it out there that I'm gonna talk to y'all for season seven. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. Good you, man. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.